The Stampeders kick off a two-game road trip in Toronto tonight where they haven't played in almost three years. It's good timing for Luther Hakunabanu who's coming off the six-game injured list early and will get a chance to play in the city where he played his university ball. Just took some time off and that really helped. Uh, and then the last couple of days of practice felt really good. Uh, I feel like myself again, so kind of excited for the game to be honest. So. What kind of emotions are going through your mind as you're back in Toronto, back uh, where you played your university ball? I think it's just excitement mostly. Uh, I try not to get too hyped up, of course, because uh, I still got a job to do, I still got to perform. Um, and kind of just treat it like every other game. Don't try to do too much, because uh, then you know mistakes kind of happen that way. But um, no, it's definitely excitement. Uh, definitely got a couple teammates, friends and family kind of showing up to the game. So. Um, looking forward to that and kind of hopefully put, on a sh put out a show for them. After missing two games with a hamstring injury, the Stamps receiver intends to make the most of his return to the lineup. Very excited. I was talking to my trainer, Kamal Peterson, and I was kind of saying it's kind of time I step up a little bit. Um, it, with those opportunities that come to me, just make sure I do uh, what I can and kind of show. I know there's been like glimpses, uh, even for myself, that I've uh, showed here and there, and I kind of just want to show people like, what I really am and, and go from there. So I'm excited for the opportunity uh, and then just kind of go out there and show what I got. Fellow receiver Jalen Philpot will also be available despite suffering a concussion last weekend against BC and is eager to pick up where he left off after scoring his first CFL touchdown. Yeah, just ready to go. Had a good week of practice. I mean, I only really was out there for one day, but felt good, felt back into it. and. Yeah, just ready to go pick up where I left off and make some plays and do whatever I can to help our team win. Played that image over my head a lot uh, since the time and uh, I plan to get in the end zone a couple more times. So uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, it was good to finally get that off my back because Tyson's got two on me right now. So I definitely got some catching up to do. <laughs> yeah, and I have to ask you about returning the kick for 77 yards, yeah. but do you feel like you have some unfinished business oh, there? Definitely. I definitely made sure that I uh, took two kickoff returns and I ran them all the way into the end zone this week in practice just because I had a little bit of a stumble, but you know, I'll have to get that one back. As for the defense, the secondary continues to feature a merry-go-round of faces. Changes include Ailey Buka getting the start at safety, while Natrell Jamerson, who signed with the team at the beginning of August, and his cousin to former Stampeder Marvin Coleman, gets the call at cornerback. I'm excited to go out there with the guys. You know, I've been waiting to get back. You know, since I got back, I'm waiting to get on the field with them and uh, getting this opportunity. I'm glad to have it. They just told me, uh, just fall in love with Calgary because they're going to love you back. So uh, just do your thing on the field and then everything else is going to fall into fruition. Calgary kicker Renee Paredes leads the league in field goal percentage and goes into Saturday's contest with 1,839 career points, just too shy of the CFL's top 10 in scoring. The Stampeders are 3-1 on the road so far this season and 3-0 against East Division opponents. The Boatmen are 3-2 at home and 2-2 against the West. And there are a lot of familiar faces wearing double blue these days. The Toronto coaching staff features seven former Calgary players and coaches, and the player roster includes no fewer than 10 Stamps alumni.